Welcome back. My guest today is Sharika Powell. A Woman Unchained is her book. And uh, this is an incredible, um, a, an incredible story, a very honest and courageous story, breaking the silence of childhood sexual abuse. And uh, clearly, um, this is not supposed to happen to a child. But yes. uh, in your life, yeah. a stepfather came in, and there was uh, abuse that began to take place over, I guess, a series of years. Yeah. It wasn't sudden. Yeah. And so that was very very difficult for you. Yeah, it definitely was. Mm. Yeah, and um, uh, as as the uh, abuse uh, began to transpire, what Sharika was the feeling at that time? And you describe yourself mm -hmm. as a woman unchained. Obviously, there was a lot of process to get you from feeling all that victimization yeah. to being an overcomer. Yeah, and so describe a bit of that process. Um, yeah, so the feel to get to this point mm -hmm. um, where I am today, um, like I said, there was definitely a series of, of, of unchained chaining moments. Mm -hmm. And um, I had to start within first. I had to start um, with myself because I, I, I felt broken. I felt broken inside. Um, I felt like damaged goods, really, let's, to be honest. Right. I did. I felt like damaged goods, and I wasn't worthy of anything. Mm. I wasn't worthy of anybody's love. I wasn't worthy of, you know, even me loving my own self. Mm -hmm. Because when I looked back in the mirror, to be honest, I hated who I saw. I hated that girl in the mirror because of what was done to her. And I wow. felt that shame, you know? And, you know, if every perpetrator yeah. could understand, you know, that they're so selfish, yeah. to be stealing the innocence and the dignity yeah. of the, the, the children that this is happening to. Yes. I mean, it's not just them. It, no. It's affecting your life. And it's a life, a, a lifetime, life. Right. right? This is something of that dealing will, with of it. dealing with it and of coping with it mm -hmm. and, um, and trying to deal with it in, in a way that's not damaging to your soul and not right. damaging to yourself. I guess it's not yeah. easy for a child to understand that, um, that they they have nothing to do with this. Yes. Right? Yeah. For some reason, they take it on and it becomes shaming to them. Yes, um, which is ironic, right? Because right. they're the Because victim. they're not doing anything wrong. Exactly. Yes. They're not doing anything wrong. And um, a lot of victims, a lot of uh, people in my shoes do feel like that. Mm -hmm. So to get to that point of feeling shame to feeling unashamed about right. what happened, in the middle of all of that was learning to accept who I am mm. and know that I'm created in God's image. Right. And that He loves me. And that, you know, even when He was quiet and mm. I didn't hear, He was there mm. orchestrating my steps to get to this point today. Right. Right? And um, when I got to that point to believe that, to believe that I am loved by the Creator, yeah. it's one thing to say it, right? Yeah. But to believe it in your soul, like, no, no, no. I am beautiful in his eyes and what he created exactly the way it is, is, right. is beautiful. And my past does not define my future. And mm. I know for survivors and for anyone who's gone through any adversity, you really need to know that yeah. in your spirit, that your past does not define your future. He defines your future. Exactly. And your future is bright. Yes. Right? If you let him in and let his light shine. How were you able yeah. to know how God saw you, yeah. uh, what was the tools that you used to understand God's heart? Well, the tools for me were definitely getting into the Word, mm. absolutely, and knowing it for yourself, right? right? The only way you're really going to know is if you know it for yourself mm. and you start to really like, okay, apply this to your life, right? Apply His light into your life. Um, so that started that with me, and it started with Alpha, actually. Alpha right. courses okay. really helped me um, to understanding, understanding yeah. my walk. Yeah. So it started with that, and it also started, I truly believe that God works through people. Mm -hmm. And if you go through something like this, um, for me, prayer, counseling, go hand in hand. Mm. And to find that right one, Right. Whatever it is for you, your pastor, whatever it is for you, yeah. to find that one to help you into that uh, realm of restoration, right. realm of healing. You talk about finally telling your grandmother first. Yes. And then, can, you know, telling your mother. Yes. And then from there... Feeling the it, weight being right? lifted. Being lifted off of you. Yes. And counseling is important. Yes. And people should not feel ashamed... No. ...of having to, like, go and yeah. get some inner healing from this. Exactly. Right. I think it's really important, but you can't leave the prayer out. 
you need him there. Right. You need God there to get you through it, right? Mm. To get you through to that. You know what? I'm able to mm. talk about this now. Yes. I can do this now. I can hold my head up high now. I don't have to be ashamed anymore. Right. You know, I'm going to live this unashamed life. And is that where you are now? Oh yeah, what absolutely. What role does it play? It used to be really big. Yeah. This defined you. Where is it now? Is it like a little nugget? Yeah. Is know? it still there in the back of your mind constantly? Constantly, but, yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah. But but God has given you the tools to become to become unchained. To become unchained. As in yeah. no more chains that are no. binding you exactly and keeping you from your destiny and your call. Exactly. And now you're a woman who speaks. Yes. And you're an author. Yeah. And a mom. Yeah. And a wife. Yeah. And you're unstoppable. I'm unstoppable. Yeah. And I want to bring as many survivors up with me. Yes. I want to bring them up with me and say, hey, we can do this together. We can live a blessed life together. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. Well, everyone mm. who has been through anything like this, that, you know, this is speaking to them, needs to get a hold of your book, A Woman Unchanged. Yes. Sharika, you're beautiful. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you for this time. Thank you, Thank you for sharing Thank you. so courageously. I appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. We'll be right back.